Hello, business is risky. If you are in any kind of business, you are taking a big risk. Now, what is the reward of an entrepreneur? I went on Google and I searched for that. I, I, I asked that question. I asked Google that question. That what is the reward for an entrepreneur? And Google answered that the reward of an entrepreneur is profit. I checked the second answer. The second answer says it's profit. I checked the third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, as many answers as I could check on Google. The answers are telling me that the reward for of an entrepreneur is profit. I remember vividly in my economics class in SS1, SS2. I think it was taught in SS1 where we talk about production and the factors of production. The reward of an entrepreneur, yes, is profit, but that is half mark. That is, if that mark, if that is um, one mark, that is half. If that is 100%, um, if that is 100 uh, mark question, that is 50%. Because the reward of an entrepreneur is not just profit. The reward of an entrepreneur, in real sense, is profit or loss. An entrepreneur may make a profit and it could make a loss. In fact, that is why he or she is an entrepreneur. Because it controls other factors of production. And other factors of production may become profitable or they may lead to a loss. So the reward of an entrepreneur is two-way. An entrepreneur is also called a risk taker. Is the one that takes the risk. That's why its reward can be profit, can be loss. If you make profit, it can be so much. If you make a loss, it can be so much. Profit can be so little. Or loss can be so little. It can be minimal or it can be maxima in terms of profit or loss. Now, many people do not want to become entrepreneur because of this factor of profit or loss. And I see many people today coming into become coming into business within in the mindset that the reward of an entrepreneur is profit. In fact, some people leave their um, salary job and they go into entrepreneurship, believing that the reward of an entrepreneur is profit. And because of this, it leads them to um, becoming depressed when they experience a loss in business. The reward of an entrepreneur that we desire is profit, but the one we don't desire is loss. So the book clearly states that the reward of an entrepreneur is profit or loss. It is not just profit. Let's have this at the back of your mind before you start any business. The reward of an entrepreneur is in two ways. It can be profit or it can be loss. So any business you are going into, you can either make a profit or you can make a loss. If you make a profit, good. If you make a loss, good. You learn from the loss, you move on. If you make a profit, you learn from the profit and move on. So you establish a business and then you are moving on. Are you envisaging uh, a increase in price of some um, variables in the business? Are you, uh, are you um, envisaging um, increase in price or spoilage of some fixed assets in the business? If you do, then you are preparing yourself. Some people are into business. Let's say somebody is into car business. Is using the car or is selling cars. Do you envisage that in a whole month you may not have sales? Do you envisage that a car you bought for um, some amount of money, you may bring it to your car depot and the car may develop fault even in your hand without before selling? Do you know that the amount of money you spend in repairing the car, you may not be able to put it on top of the car for people to buy it if you are going to be able to sell the car in good time? So, on a particular car you are selling, you may make a loss. On another car, you make profit. On other cars, you make profit. But on one particular car, you may make a loss. So, when we understand this, and then we don't just stand and say, I must make profit, I must make profit, by all means, business opportunities are like that are open to us. If your intention is only profit, you will not see those business opportunities and you will lose them. So, the reward of an entrepreneur is profit or loss. So you make allowance for your losses. I teach people how to go into business and different businesses they can do. But I've seen people interact with me and their main goal, their main intention is that they just want to make profit by all means. They want to make profit by all means. Yes, you should make profit. But you must make allowance for losses. I will tell you more on this in my next video. Let's go now.